Welcome to that pedal show, Dan here. Mick here. Hello. Very, very simple and so short show. So you want to hear this high watt? <laughs> Story of the high watt is Dan. Uh, we were looking for a high watt uh, for ages, and then you found someone got in touch. No, there's one on Reverb.com. That's right. One Literally on Reverb. There. And we. So we bought it and opened it up, and lo and behold, it was Harry Joyce's John Henry yeah. inside. Nice uh, example of a 73 DR103 custom 100 high watt. We a bought it. Of love. We bought it because uh, we borrowed one, and then we borrowed two. We did. We did. And we made a show, and after yes, that show, Chris from um, Custom Pedal Boards let we us said this high watt. we need to own this. Yeah. We bought it, bit of transformer hum. Other than that, it's magic. We didn't get a cab for it. No. And then last week, I was on the interweb as you do. I follow Coda Music of Stevenage, and uh, they listed this four by twelve. There's no description. It just said uh, high watt wem. 412 with Fane Crescendo speakers. And we accidentally bought it. I bought it because you got to have the right cab. For those of you who don't know, it's the cab that is similar to the cab that Gilmore used with his. Yeah. Except that it's not, it's fake. <laughs> or at least the cabinet looks pretty fake. We don't know what speakers are in. And by the time this video goes out, I will confirm here. Well, this is awkward. I think we better add a bit of VT here. I'm filming this a few days after we filmed the High Watt video. I opened up the cab this morning, and as you can see from the pictures, it isn't exactly what we thought it was. What it looks like, we alluded to earlier, is some kind of fakie or a homemade project. The speakers have no markings on them other than a stamp made in England, but the whole construction of it, the magnet, everything is very different from the kind of classic Fain Crescendo, certainly the Gilmore Fain Crescendo. Now I did a bit of digging online, and it seems that Fain may well have used that name for other speakers across the years, PA speakers or what have you. Um, don't really want to get into that. They're not the Fane Crescendos that we were hoping for. And, you know, lo and behold, looks too good to be true. Usually is too good to be true. However, a plea from us, please don't think badly of Coda. We know the guys there. I've known some of the guys there for many, many, many years, and I know them to be really decent folk. Uh, it's a really high-end guitar store. They're not in the business of ripping anyone off. I phoned Doug there and he was mortified. He said to me that they just got it in, they turned it around quick, took it on face value, and uh, this unfolded. So please, please, please don't feel badly uh, about Coda. They are a fantastic shop, and I'm absolutely certain this is an oversight, not any kind of deliberate attempt to rip anybody off. Needless to say, being mortified, obviously he offered us an instant refund, picked it up, all done, everything's, everything's all good. So once again, please don't feel badly about Coda. But anyway, I think what we discovered inside kind of explains some of the things we might be about to hear in this video. Right, back to the program. We're going to have a blast through it. We've put my pedal board up. Um, we've also got the Marshall. I'm going to turn the Marshall off for a bit, just so we can hear the high watt. I'm going to be up and down doing a few levels there, because we are going to turn it up. 
um, and have Schwang on a bunch of guitars. <laughs> right, Marshall, you're going off. Um, it means that our stereo even reverbs and delays will only be one side, but I think we can cope with that. Yeah, we'll never there. If I put it in series, you'll get there both. You Town. Uh, you were hearing, it'll be obvious on screen, but that was the uh, J Rocket HRM, which is modeled on a specific Dumble, not modeled, it's an analog overdrive. Uh, delay reverb and rotary speaker. A lot of mains hum, it's got quite a bad mains hum. I'm just going to put on a Les Paul a minute. Simon's going to watch the uh, preamp levels. We're just going to hear the overdrive in the amp. May need to don, uh, don the old thingies for this. Okay. I'm, I'm going to stand up because I'm going to be backwards and forwards. Um, How loud was that? No, not too bad. Was it all right? Yeah, because you were you were playing with great uh, sensitivity, Daniel. Um, I'm just going to ease into this. Just so you know, you, we had the master up to five there. Huh? <laughs> I'm not buying a horse from you. <laughs> Okay, wow.
So it's not going to get any louder. Right, okay. That's it. Right. So if we wanted it to be louder, uh, I'd have to turn it down a bit. Okay. Bizarrely. So I turned down the input. So that was at everything at two o'clock, the way everything should be set. Um, it, it, it's now down to sort of one o'clock and the master's down to 11 o'clock. Okay. I'll just step on some pedals and I think we'll get louder. If you just, out of interest, if you turn, if you turn the master all the way up and the preamp gain all the way down, how does that sound? Yeah. I think the cabinet's given up. Yeah, 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 totally. It sounds totally rubbish with these on. Just ease off a little bit. I'll, okay. be, I'll be careful. All right, all right. Just ease off a bit. Obviously Gilmore sounded nothing like that. Um, what's interesting is that we've maxed it out. Right. It's actually through that cab, it's not as loud as my two rock. Yeah, no, no one near it. Which is really- That's fascinating. Which is really mad. So what we need is another amp. Thank you. 
Far out, man. That is unbelievable. I don't ever ever want anything again. <laughs> it's pretty mega, isn't it? Let's try some uh, some cleaner noises.
That was bloody lovely. <laughs> Far out. Oh man, there's just no substitute for the goodness. The, no, it's so great. good. Um, are you going to play that? Nah, uh, I just it looks nice. Come on. Uh, one quick thing. I'm taking it out. You got to make us happy. It's it's the best sounding rig we've had. One of the best. It just far out, man. It's, yeah, it's loud. For those of you worried that we took our ear defenders out, I had mine in for when it was when I knew yeah, it was yeah. problematic. But then if you it play, doesn't feel that loud. If you play with a bit of care and you don't, you're not whacking those non distorted transients. It's actually not too bad. Yeah, it's yeah. still loud. Don't get me wrong. Still damaging if you do it for too long. But um, killer. So, not as loud as I thought it was going to be. No. Uh, whatever speakers are in there aren't as efficient as we thought they were going no. to be. If that was an EV loaded cab, we'd be dead. Yeah. Pinned against the wall. Yeah. Just stains. Mick and Dan stains against yeah. the back wall. And I can tell it's not that loud because the Marshall isn't that loud and it's attenuated a little bit. Right. So, and the Marshall's kind of keeping up. Yeah. The high watt was a bit louder, but the, the Marshall's... The Marshall's 50 watts and that's 100. Yeah. Yeah. It's all about headroom though, isn't it? Totally. Totally. And how efficient the cab is. But, 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 but. What a glorious noise. Giant oh. um, bottom end kind of sounds. Um, yeah. There's a real clarity to it. It's really lovely. Sorry, there's one thing I just didn't do, which I really want to do. It would be utterly remiss to not do. Sorry. And then we'll finish because it's... Windmills? We said, do windmills? We said it was going to be a short video and it's actually ending up being quite a long one. Um, <laughs> Welcome to that pedal show. <laughs> exactly what Simon said, is there a way you can do this? Old weak strats, eh, Dan? <laughs> <laughs> Far out. Okay, so uh, you just wanted to hear the high watt. That was it in the beginning. Then we paired it with the Marshall, load of wet dry effects, and some stereo stuff. If anyone on earth gets to play that loud anymore for any length of time on stage, good on you. <laughs> good on you. But It's an experience like no other, mm. and it totally surrounds you. And uh, how do you I, pff, words? What are words? Hey, eh? no, no idea. Yeah, right. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, just incredible. Cool. It's just incredible. Two four by twelves. That's another thing, right? Just eight speakers at the moment going going some and shifting a lot of air. Yeah. You know? And that's a thing. And coupling. Yeah, you know, all that stuff. <laughs> boy oh boy. Good. Hope you enjoyed that. Bit of high watt indulgence. No other point to doing that no. other than that. Absolutely. Brilliant. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Also, a massive thank you to our preferred retailers in the UK and Europe. Is. Uh, who cares? <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I, I just don't care anymore. Uh, thanks to Andersons. <laughs> thanks to Pedal Empire. <laughs> thanks to um, whoever they are in the US. Sweetwater. Sweetwater. Please go to that Pedal Show store. Thank you to our patrons. Thank you. Indeed. Thanks so much, guys. Have a great week. Patrons. See you on Monday for VCQ. Bye. Bye.